Yo, what's happening people? This is Mo back from Team Evolve and I know I haven't been uploading recently well for quite a while and to be fair I have done quite a bit actually to the car. I've wrapped a bit of it so for, um, I bought some like satin grey wrap and I've wrapped the bumper roof and the bonnet with it and today I should be receiving the front end as well. Um, the last video I think I uploaded was the exhaust um, being custom made. So what we've got done is the front which is the bonnet um, today I'm supposed to be receiving the front R32 front bumper but this we'll see if that even comes through because it's coming from Germany but it's like a satin grey wrap so the roof's done as well as well as the rear bumper and I'll probably just I think I recorded a bit of footage where we was wrapping this bumper in my mate's garage so we'll see that and yeah I mean it's been running all fine as well not a problem I think the next time I'm going to do is gloss black the alloys as well as you can see, there's no badge in the middle either and get a whole new set of four tyres. On top of that, um, whoever remembers Daniel from uh, the previous videos, the guy with the Golf Mark 7, he's now got a slammed Mark 3 um, as well as Sharif, so it's been done up a bit as well. There's a new car coming as well to the squad, so that's why obviously I thought it's best to start filming again because it seems that a lot of you guys who are watching this stuff are enjoying it because I, mean, I am seeing a lot of comments and whatnot. Anyways, let's get to it. So from what I know of um, taking the bumper off, you got to take the grill off first. So apparently you got to take, put a screwdriver in there. It should just pop out, and the same goes for here. Oh, there we go. Look, it's just come out. And then you just got to release a clip here for this main latch, and then hopefully that bit should come off. And then it's just all the screws that you have to take out, which I think there's four here, something along that. And then there's like two inside the vent, two in that one as well and then another couple down this aisle and then I think there's a couple under this uh, grill so let's get to it anyway that's the whole grill off I want to gloss black that actually and Literally all I had to do was you see this little latch here There was like the latch of the one that's inside the grill was inside of that And then you just got to lift it and take the two pins out and Then it just comes out of it So we just got to take now This torques out so that's one there Two Three Four and five Three Four Five I just noticed that there's two notches there. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but I think you push down on them. That's it, you got it. So it's just these two notches one, two, you just gotta push them down basically. There's one right there. So I've got them two screws out now. Because the car's lowered, I've just had to turn the wheels because I didn't get no access in there. But if you look here, I don't know how well you can see there's one screw there, two, three and four screws. So that's the whole bumper come off. I've got one clip in there, which I don't even know what it's actually for because I ain't got fog lights or anything. But let me just take this out. Right, so that's the bumper off. Now, I gotta hope that the new one gets delivered today. This is just gotta go straight on. Yo, what's happening, people? So, this is actually the second day. Um, the bumper didn't come yesterday, but it's just arrived now. It's like uh, nine o'clock in the morning, and as you can see, DM Auto. So, yeah, the bumper's arrived. I'm gonna quickly have breakfast and that, and then I'm gonna get straight at it. So that's the car, no bumper on there. That's actually quite a nice packaging that they've done. You can see the uh, the racing grill that's on the bumper. So I'm just gonna undo the rest of the packaging. Right, that's the whole bumper out the cardboard. Now we just got to take out the plastic and I can see already 
that it's got the two holes there so I'm hoping that this fitment just goes straight on and even here it's got the cuts for the thing for the screws so hopefully it's a one time fit on and no modifications are needed got it all on now as you can see um, it's just literally getting the fine fitment now and then bolting it on but I'll get back to recording once it's all done right so I've got the main three screws in at the top or for these main bolts here and it's lined up perfectly and I wanted to show the side as well how perfectly it's lined up like with this the, um, the curvature of it and I'm gonna fit the grill on now but all I gotta do is on the old bumper there was these clips, the metal clips that go here for the screws to go in. And then once that's on, I'll just push it in and just screw it on and that should be all perfect. Yeah, she literally does. Yeah, she So these were the clips that I was talking about and basically I just need them I'm just basically gonna put it into that hole I don't know if you can see it too well but you see how that fits on there so now I'm able to just screw that into the actual frame so it's all nice and sturdy so it is looking really nice it looks a lot meaner but yeah and the fitment's really good as well. Now, if you look at the line, it matches up exactly with the bumper. Uh, sorry, yeah, with the bumper. But yeah, overall, I think it's looking really good. 